Hi! Today we will speak about a very powerful technique called X-ray absorption spectroscopy, or XAS. Imagine an atom in the matter. Like any atom, this atom has electrons occupying different orbitals with different energies. What happens if we expose this matter to a photon beam with the photon energies slightly higher the ionization potential of one of the core electrons, let's say 1s electron. The photon may get absorbed by an electron, and electron gets excited, as much as you may be excited to know the end of this story. And then is the following. The initial energy of the photon is spent to overcome the ionization potential of this electron, and the rest is given to a kinetic energy of electron, which we also call a photoelectron. But since this atom is inside the matter, the electron cannot simply escape, but it experiences, let's say, collisions with neighboring atoms in the matter. So it will follow different paths like this or like this and so on. The result of this collision will depend on the kinetic energy of the photoelectron. Therefore, if one can tune the energy of the incident photon beam, we will obtain a spectrum like this. If we tune this energy really fine, the spectrum is called X-ray absorption fine structure, or XAS. The ordinate axis in this plot is the absorption coefficient, which depends on energy, and it tells us that for some photon energies, absorption of photons is slightly higher or slightly lower. Now let's guess what information is hidden in this spectrum. Since we excited a photoelectron from a specific element, this technique is element-specific. Imagine you want to study the structure of iron centers in hemoglobin. Then XAS probes only iron atoms and you can forget about all other organics in your protein. Also, since the spectrum is a result of collisions from the neighboring atoms, this technique has a local sensitivity. And due to this local sensitivity, you don't need a material to have a long-range order, so your material does not need to be a crystal. You can study amorphous materials, you can study nanomaterials, biological materials, and many other materials. Also, your material can be solid, liquid, or even gas. Finally, as many of X-ray-based techniques, XAS is non-destructive. 